Hello and thanks for staying with us. Customs intercept 77 trucks of rice from smugglers. Awesome Customs Support Kaduna Command sees goods worth millions of naira from smugglers operating in the northern aspect of the country. Plus, more reports. I am Egisemi Itinye. Stay tuned. On this edition, we will continue with the Controller General of Nigerian Customs Service with members of the National Assembly in Abuja. He said that the customs will always work with government policies as approved by government. He speaks more on the number of issues. And then I start with uh, item two there, which is the review of the 2021 approved budget performance. Uh, revenue performance of 2021 budget. The approved revenue target for the year 2021 stood at 1.679 trillion. The service collected a total revenue of 1.716 trillion for the period of January to December 2021. One compared to the approved revenue target of the same period, January to December 2020, the service surpassed its target by 504.34 billion, or 41.63%. The, the service also collected the sum of 525.3 Zero six billion as value added tax on imports from January to December 2021, thereby bringing the total collection for the year 2021 to 2.241 trillion for, for the period under review. Page 3. Most importantly, the above remarkable performance was recorded amidst the following militating factors. As usual, uh, as always, we have uh, we we'll continue to state this because uh, they are part of the militating factors against what we believe would uh, enhance the, the collection of revenue and maximizing the, our collection. First, and from, first among them is the standing government del deliberate trade and economic policies, monetary boards and physical, such as the restriction of 43 items from accessing forex at official window. Uh, why we are not saying we are not against it, and I'm sure the, the wisdom behind this is, 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 is good enough, but it is one of those things that has reduced the amount that we would have collected. Two, the non-functional scanners at the various custom scanning sites. This factor has adversely affected the service and uh, service's ability to carry out effective examination for selective consignment, and the chairman made mention of this in his uh, opening remarks. Uh, two, three, only two commodities, cigarette and alcohol, alcoholic beverages, were under exercise control within the period under review. So well, we are yet to get uh, the, the directive to start collecting the 10% the on uh, carbonated drink. And also we are yet to come to terms of who is going to collect the telecommunication uh, 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 exercise. That is still under process and it is our hope that before the end of the first quarter of this year, we will precisely get uh, go ahead to start collecting because every, every day that goes passes by, we are losing, we are losing revenue. He said the targets given by the government will be met according to the law. For tax evasion and economic sabotage, thus high level of this relationship must be deliberately structured in order to broaden our tax collectivity. collectivity. Page 8, Mr. Chairman and Distinguished Senators. 2022 expected income. The service proposed a budget expenditure of 369.14 billion for the year 2022, for which will be sourced from the following uh, sources. First is the 7% cost of collection for the year 2022. We expect to reap uh, 151.84 billion. Two, 60% CISS uh, granted by Mr. President. We expect to uh, uh, we reap uh, 60.12 uh, billion. And 2% share of the NCS VAT uh, collection. Well, there we expect to generate 114.94 billion. 
and then they return it come for the year 2021 to, to roll over to 2022 is 114.39 billion and the share of the excess of the 2021 uh, budget which of course uh, we couldn't have met any effort of spending it because it was not budgeted uh, as a result of the <coughs> of exceeding the, the, the target we, 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 we were able to to, 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 to to get this uh, amount also added to our own uh, collection. The total sum, therefore, uh, distinguished chair, uh, uh, is 369.14 billion. The expected income will be utilized as follows. First, personal cost. Uh, we expect, if everything goes well, to, uh, to expend 108.85% uh, 8, 8, 5 billion, or 29.49 percent of the budget on personal cost. Then overhead cost, we expect we expect to spend uh, 45.89 billion, or 12.43 billion of the entire budget. Capital cost, the total cost here is with more, almost all the bulk of our money will go on total on capital expenditure. And here, this is one of the few uh, budgets that is. is, is I think nationwide that you find out that much money is put in capital instead of uh, overhead and, uh, and uh, personal cost. So here we, Mr. Chairman, we, by the grace of God, expect to spend 214.3230 billion, which is 58.08 percent of the total budget uh, of 369.04 billion. Major highlights of the proposed budget expenditure. Personal cost for 2022. The nominal role of 15,004 personnel and 3,200 expected recruit, recruitment of cadets are used in estimating the proposal, the personnel cost of 108.85 billion, which comprises of 86.50 billion is an allocation for personal, sal for personal sal salaries and allowances. 7.73 billion is provision for employers' contribution under the National Pension Scheme. Three, 3.93 billion is a provision for employers' contribution to National Health Insurance Scheme, NHIS. The Nigerian Customs Service will continue to fine tune laws in the operation of free trade zone in the country. The free trade zone in Nigeria will continue to enjoy government support as long as the imports and bringing consignment approved by government to the zone. The Contractor General of the Nigerian Customs Service was represented by the Deputy Contractor General in charge of excise said the customs will always help the zone to grow more. She warned against importation of contraband items into the zone. She speaks more on the issues. We know and everybody here should know that the free trade zones are a different entity they operate different laws other than the laws that guide Nigeria. We in custom know that very well. And that is why we make sure that all the stops, all the checks that happen to general goods on imports are not done in these free zones. Answer, if and when a free zone import their raw materials. If they start documentation on time, you won't tell me that there's not, we don't have enough uh, escort officers. It is only when you now come, I want, this, uh, uh, I want this transfer to be tomorrow. There may be, there are other uh, requests for goods going to other places. We have inland containers. Some are in Kano in the east, even in any where it came from, we have. So there are always requests. So you have to make your don't wait for your goods to arrive before you start making those requests. That is what we call timely documentation. Once you do that, you won't have any problems. Be care of as soon as the 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 um, the automation is in place. Custom will only inspect the goods 
that they have doubts about. As soon as this um, the automation is done, it is only when you won't see people every time they will call for examination. No, we are going to, and very soon, pass that era of uh, physical examination, and then you know all those stops is going to pass very soon, sir. And then landing certificates. I I agree with you that NEPSA is supposed to have a copy of the landing certificates. It's actually supposed to be. One should be for NEPSA. You are watching the program Customs Report. <laughs> the Customs Command in Apapa has made a total of 522 billion naira in the first part of this year. The command has surpassed its revenue target in the first part of this year. It said that the sustained level of compliance led to the legitimate rules and regulations by importers and stakeholders in the clearance value chain also contributed to government improvement in revenue generation. He hinted that there was a surge in non-oil export leading to 2.5 million metric tons recorded in the first six months of 2022. Uh, this consignment has been received through intelligence and it was declared as spare part based on the manifest presentation. But intelligence, uh, uh, credible intelligence shows that this consignment is carrying a, a rise and so we strike at it and uh, we apprehend the containers, stop them, and examine it, and that is the result of what we have examined. According to him, a total of 83 containers with duty paid value of 8.3 billion naira was seized, including drugs, while a total of 32 containers of unprocessed woods were also seized. Also seized 18 containers of used clothing, shoes, and 12 containers of foreign rice. In the period under review, the command has collected a revenue to the tune of 522.4 billion naira. This shows a significant increase of 156 billion as against 366.5 billion naira collected in the corresponding months uh, in the corresponding months of the year 2021, which represents about 42.5% increase in revenue collection. It was made possible because our officers, because of our officers' resilience in ensuring identified revenue leakages has been mitigated, while sustaining the level of compliance by the importers, stakeholders, and the clearance value chain. And the export trade, in line with the federal government effort to diversify the economy through non-oil export, the command has recorded a boom in the exportation of non-oil commodities with about 2.5 million metric tons, above the 540 metric tons in the year 2021. The board value of the exported items also rose from 1.6 million dollars in the year 2021 to 138 million dollars in the year 2022. <laughs> Items exported include steel bars, agricultural and minerals product, among others. The federal government policy and the, the federal government policy and export incentive scheme have played a vital role in boosting estate, export trade in Nigeria. The anti-smuggling operation. Our anti-smuggling operation is guided by the federal government import and export prohibition list, as well as other government fiscal policies as directed. For the period under review, we have managed to curb smuggling of dangerous items resulting in seizure of 83 containers with a duty paid value of 8.3 billion naira. Some of the seized items include processed and unprocessed wood, 53, uh, 32 containers, unregistered pharmaceutical, five containers, foreign parboiled rice, 12 containers, vegetable oil, seven containers, tomato paste, three containers, and one by 20 foot container laden with 150 cartons of tramadol. We know that in every amber month, trade is at, is at its highest peak, and therefore the expectation of revenue in the amber month is much more than the, uh, the first six months. So the, the, the prediction cannot be too far away from the truth. We are even hoping more than that. 
And uh, in the case of a terminal, a bonded terminal uh, a, a equipment, or we can say logistics, the issue is we have been escalating it, and we have been uh, making sure that we are following up, and uh, we make sure that we do our work to the dictate of the law. So all the terminal operators, I want you to understand here that some areas are stacking areas. He also handed over a container of seized drugs to NDLA official at the port. The federal operation in this zone A has intercepted 77 trucks loaded with foreign rice imported into the country in the past six months. The Arctic controller said that the truck was intercepted within six months in 2022. The acting controller also disclosed that the unit collected a total of 577 million naira as revenue derived from underpayment of customs duty into the federation account. He said that a total of 45,000 bags of smuggled rice, 265,000 liters of petroleum products, including 2,933 bills of used clothes, and 233 cartons of tomador tablets were also seized. 3,610 kilograms of India ham. What are they using it for? They brought them in, not that they found them in Nigeria. They will wrap them like uh, as if they, write, uh, they wrap a uh, coconut. You think it's coconut, but it's in their hem. Now, these are the things unscrupulous people use to carry out dastardly acts. I want to beg Nigerians not to be swayed by the act of smugglers. Smugglers, they can smuggle anything using any means and uh, we are fighting a cartel because i believe they are a cartel and we'll find them we we'll fight them to stand still as you can see these jerry cans were brought in here just today and it is on daily basis that we keep seeing it that is why we were able to account for about 265,000 liters that will have been smuggled out of Nigeria that we succeeded in bringing in. He urged importers and agents to stop smuggling items into the country. And the business community that although some of the land borders were reopened, it is worthy of note to be reminded and to know that they were reopened for legitimate businesses. Importers, agents, and the general public are enjoined to be acquainted with the federal government fiscal policies, customs extant regulations, as well as import and export prohibition lists for proper guidance. Well, smuggling is like a ring. And you can, the more you say you want to see, the deeper you see. I don't know if I'm getting me. You are attempting to see. Yes, you will see. But what you did not even bargain for, you will see there. That is smuggling. Initially, when the border was reopened, some people felt it was business as usual. Maybe that accounted for why that month we had closed about uh, 9,000 bags of rice. Because some of them started thinking, oh, I can bring my rice now. So as they were bringing, we were picking and we were arresting them. Now a question now came, that was part of what led me to Ijiroko that day. That, ah, they have reopened border now, we are free to bring anything. I said, no, you can't bring in anything. Check customs uh, website. And I gave them what can come in and what cannot come in. Now, to say whether there is increase or decrease. Because each month, our level of seizure keeps increasing. Will I now say it's decreasing? Because right now, for the month of June alone, we had about 9,000. About 9,160. That is June, from June 1st to June 30th. Some months will have 6,000, 5,000. But for some time now, 
is being hang, hanging on that nine 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 thousand. You see, they will continue to look for money to to do their illegal business. We are ready to help them waste that money. We are ready to push them to bankruptcy. Because anyone who refuses to follow federal government's directive will not find it funny with us. Because it's not only the government that is feeling it, the whole country will suffer it. So that in spite of the border reopening, no contraband will be allowed to pass through the borders. The federal opposition in this zone B has again intercepted goods worth millions of naira from smugglers operating along the nation's borderline. The controller says that the junk customs service will continue to improve on working relationship with importers operating in the axis. The customs controller says the unit will continue to implement government policies against smuggling of items into the country, noting that in spite of the reopening of the borders, no consignment will be allowed to come into the country. This is not allowed to come in for so many reasons ranging from the protection of our health, protection of our local industries that are producing man-made climate here in Nigeria. Any policy you, you see federal government is passionate out for implementation is for the betterment of Nigerians. We want everybody to partner with customs to ensure that this doesn't escape us. Information is key in customs operation. Other six items include bags of foreign rice, 11 units of vehicles and 124 cartons of unregistered drugs. Pharmaceutical products are not allowed to come here into Nigeria without uh, required NAPDAC uh, regulation. Uh, all form of uh, pharmaceutical products, including food, are uh, regulated items that NAPDAC must come in before they are allowed to come in. The idea of seizing this uh, product is to give way to the production of the same item locally here in Nigeria. The federal government is only them decided to, 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 to give certain incentives to Nigerians who wish to produce this thing here in Nigeria. And I don't think we should allow foreign items, similar items, to compete with the ones that are produced here locally. 23 pieces of foreign used tires. As I told you many times here, foreign used tires are absolutely not allowed to come in because of its own dangerous nature. Uh, most of these uh, used tires from abroad, they are, they are overused there, they are expired. So when they are used here in Nigeria, incidentally, they may cause accidents which will shorten the, our lives. According to him, most of the seizures were done with the collaboration of other security agencies operating within the zone. Just before the end of this week edition of the program, Customs Report, we brought you a report where seizures were made by some various commands in the country. For me, a engineer. Thanks for watching.